doesn't matter where you come from or who you are, that you can achieve anything that you set your mind to achieve. I hold records for racing across the Simpson Desert. I even hold world vertical records for racing up and down stairs. I've run around the whole of Australia and I've run across America twice. But this is the most ambitious project I've ever taken on in my life. I'm going to do a run from the North Pole through to the South Pole. I'll be flown in by Russian helicopter to the North Pole and from there I'll traverse all the way down through Canada, North America, then down the west coast of America, all the way down through uh, Mexico and down on the west coast again, all the way through to the bottom of South America before I head across to the South Pole and I finish there. I'm up at 4.30am every morning and I drag tyres along the beach and around the parks all around Sydney. The reason why I'm doing that is to simulate dragging a sled along. The weather conditions are probably about the greatest danger that I'll face, although it's been mentioned about polar bears and ice crevices falling through the ice. There's a real problem with time, and that is that there's a very small window of opportunity that I can get into both the North Pole and the South Pole. I have to do an average of 85 kilometres per day every single day. There are no days off on this run. And to do an average like that, that means there is a day in there of 140 k's, a number of 130 k's down through South America and a number of 100 k days. I'll be doing more than two marathons per day every single day with no days off from start to finish. From the very first step that I take in the North Pole all the way through to the South Pole, I'll have a professional camera crew following me from start to finish. We will beam into the classrooms, the boardrooms and the living rooms in real time everything that I see. So when I see a polar bear, you'll see it too. Locked within each and every one of us is the ability to achieve great things. I believe the greatest force on this earth is our will. And if we want to do something, we can and we will find a way. So I want to say to all of you here in this house, please find a way to help all of humanity. Thank you. Why am I doing this? Well, I'm doing this to try and raise awareness and raise money for uh, water causes and for the International Red Cross. And we're going to um, hopefully raise $100 million for worthwhile water projects around the world. Well, I've seen firsthand the poverty and the absolute uh, despair on people's faces in communities. I've, li I've lived with them in the rubbish tips and I've seen what they've gone through when they don't have water. So it's most important that I can get clean sanitary conditions and fresh drinking water into as many communities as I can possibly do. A number of the television programs that will be filming me get to audiences of in excess of 900 million people with a single episode throughout America and around the world. So all I need to do is just encourage one ninth of that audience to donate just one dollar and we've raised the 100 million dollars that I plan to do.